Rupert Brighton here and welcome back to my very occasional YouTube videos. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing two tabletop tripods which appear very very similar in their specification but are extremely different in their price. So let's find out what they're like and whether it's worth paying the extra. So the two tripods are, on your right, the Manfrotto Pixie Evo and on your left the Gitzo Mini Traveller. As you can see they're very similar in size, they both have a ball joint on the, on the top um, and they are both, um, there's the ball joint on the top and here and they're both about the same size. Um, the Manfrotto can have its legs made longer to make it slightly taller um, to get so the legs are a fixed length. They can also both be made lower. Uh, the Manfrotto has a lever on the side which you can put across which then lets the legs come out almost horizontally. As we're with the Gitso, you have to pull down on a collar at the top of each leg which makes a very small difference in the height of the tripod. But yeah, broadly the same size as each other. There's very little difference in the weight of these two tripods. Uh, the Manfrotto comes in at 265 grams, as where the Gitzo, despite its metal ball and socket head, comes in very slightly lighter at 242 grams. The carbon fibre legs obviously contributing to that weight saving. The real difference is in the price. Uh, the Manfrotto is £42 at the time of creating this video in February 2023. The, the Ginzo is £189. Here's my pinhole camera mounted on the Manfrotto tripod. And it is apparent from the outset that it's a bit of a wobbly platform. I can move this around quite easily and it vibrates for some time. When I open and close the shutter, the camera wobbles and the vibrations take quite some time to die down. So if I open the shutter, it's vibrating until now. So that's quite a lot of vibration and when I try to move the camera, you can see that it, it is very, very wobbly on this tripod. Now I've put the camera onto the Gitzo tripod and it's immediately apparent that it is far more stable. When I move the camera, it doesn't vibrate for long. The vibrations are damped out almost immediately and it just settles in place very firmly. Opening and closing the shutter doesn't give me any perceptible vibration at all. Um, maybe just for a split second, but certainly far, far less vibration and moving the camera around, it does feel far more solid and the vibrations disappear almost immediately. So it seems very clear that the Gitzo tripod is worth the extra money if you're going to put a camera like this on it. I think probably the Manfrotto would be fine with a compact camera if you're not going to do any long exposures, but for anything else, I think you do need to spend the extra. Hope that's been useful for you. Thank you.